Hello everyone, this is uh, your Daily Meta for January 15th, and we're getting scientific on you here. Uh, I promised that I would talk about an experiment that I did not know about when I wrote Search. And it is simply this, it was carried out by Franz de Waal, a very well-known primatologist who's written about eight or ten terrific books on uh, animal behavior and uh, some colleagues. And what they did was they took a colony of rhesus monkeys, which are rather aggressive, and they added into that colony a colony of stumptail, stumptail macaques, who are much more peaceable critters. Uh, in a pinch, if there's a conflict between two of these monkeys, one will actually hand its finger to another to get bitten and say, go ahead, work out your aggressions. Uh, I'm not recommending that we do that kind of thing. Uh, so they put the two groups together, gulp, to see what would happen. They expected the stump tails would be wiped out by the rhesus types. And if you believe in the theory of innate aggression and that we've been designed to be competitive, and so forth. That is what you would predict. And three amazing results uh, ensued. For one thing, the stump tails stood their ground without fighting back. A uh, rhesus would jump on a branch and start getting close to a stump tail, say, you know, push him over. The stump tail would say, I'm not leaving, but I'm not fighting back, in monkey language, needless to say, and maybe hand the finger over to be bitten, but not abandon its position. So their nonviolent resistance worked in the in individual encounters, fact number one. Fact number two, now get this, within a fairly short period of time, the rhesus monkeys started to adapt the more peaceable culture of the stump tails. Nobody had predicted that, just as nobody could have predicted that the children in the Davis experiment would be more cooperative as a result of their being terribly frustrated. So that's two astounding serendipitous discoveries. The third one, I think, is maybe in a way the one that's most hopeful, hopeful of all, and that is that after they took the stump tails out and expected the rhesus to go back to their bad old ways, they didn't. Having adopted a more peaceable culture, they liked it. They held on to it. They maintained it. So ponder all of this and what it could mean for our own evolution and what practical insights it could give us to getting to a nonviolent future. Till next time, let's join the experiment.